Hey guys, I made a large blinged out floor vase. I'm so in love with the way this floor vase turned out and I'm super excited to share with you how I made it. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a trifle board, but you can use any other cardboard of your choice. And then I started tracing out the shape of how I want my vase to be. Going now to the bottom because it has to be straight, I used a ruler. I'm making a high floor vase and so I used this hard roll that came with a marble contact paper. So this is really, really hard and then it's long enough for the high floor vase that I want to make. So whichever roll you want to use, it should be your guide to the height of the vase you want to make before drawing out your pattern. I replicated the design all over the trifle board and then started cutting them out. I already started gluing them to the hard roll and then a full detailed tutorial on this technique is in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is what it looks like and then I'm going to be covering the whole thing with tape and then using the plaster of Paris all over it. Now this is another video that I did using the same technique and the link is going to be in the description box below and it's also going to be at the top right. This is what the face should look like after it's been covered with paste and then after it's dry you cover it up with Mod Podge. This is what the taller face looks like all wrapped up with tape. And then I use the same procedure like the other vase and then I spray painted this one black. If you notice, I left the top because I'm going to be doing something different to it after I'm done decorating the whole vase. I'm going to be starting off with my mirror mosaic tiles, cutting them into singular strips and then making a design on the vase. They are self-adhesive and they're super easy to use. To make circles with the mirror mosaic tiles that has been cut into singular strips will be easy if you just put it on first to the shape that you want and then adjusting it to make sure it looks like a perfect circle using your fingers to just push it in to make sure that you get the exact design that you want and this is what it looks like and I'm going to be adding more lines. In case you're all wondering, I'm following a pattern that I drew on paper, <laughs> excuse the tiny piece of paper, but that's the pattern that I'm following and at the top you can see that it's supposed to be something circular so I used gems for that and then I'm using the self-adhesive gems that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be using the same gems to go in between all of the lines. I'm going to be using two different sizes of gems for this but then I'm starting off with the larger gems. I'm done using the larger gems and now to fill in the spaces here, 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 basically all of the remaining spaces, I'm going to be using smaller self-adhesive gems that I got from Walmart. Keep in mind that some of the gems don't adhere properly, so my advice will be to use hot glue when you're applying this. Now because I love the design so much, I made an extra line all over the whole design. That's why it looks a little bit larger here. And now for the top that was open, I took a trifle board and then I cut a circle for it and I didn't really like it. So I later on took a foam board, a black foam board and cut it to shape and glued it at the top. And then had the gems glued around it. And then I made a pattern to match the one that's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna be using these gems to cover up the holes that were formed from the circles in my design. I even put it side by side with another large floor face that I've had for a while now so you guys can see that it's actually large enough to pass up for a floor face. I made the golden floral that's inside the vase in one of my videos and the link is going to be at the top right. I'd like to know what you guys think about this design in the comment section below and remember to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.